it's not time for a fight, let's fight. You've seen of all the competition, and you have now won our coveted pointless trophy. You now have a chance to win our pointless jackpot, and at the end of today's show, the jackpot is standing at £2,000. Well, I think there's something poetic about this. Lovely to have you here in the final round. Um, what would you like to see come up in this final round? Football. <laughs> OK, Adam? Well, that was said with so much authority, I don't feel like I can argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's something up there you like the look of. There's usually something faintly football-related, but not always, by any means. Today's selection looks like this. Diamonds, <laughs> popular albums of 2014, American crime writers. I think ice skating might be football-related, don't you think? <laughs> Just... okay. Diamonds, mm. obviously, big in both our lives. <laughs> can't get enough of ice skating. I like books. You do like crime books? Yeah. American authors. Oh, can't move in my house for American crime authors. Not great on music. Um, music I'm pretty bad at. It's got to be one of the middle two, I think. But yeah. how? You you host the Drive Time show on yeah. BFBS. No, I, I know where this is how going. How can popular <laughs> albums of 2014 be so no, forbidden? I know exactly where this is going, and I anticipated this question. You know, you don't you don't really have to listen to the music. You just talk after the songs. <laughs> got to be albums, I think. That's what it's going to be. It's got to be albums. going to be albums. Sorry, Hal, a bit more pressure on, on you there. But albums, popular. But it's popular albums. That's handy, isn't it? This is not the unpopular ones. <laughs> popular albums of 2014, Richard. We're looking for any tracks on the original release of uh, Caustic Love by Paolo Nettini. Any tracks on Wanted on Voyage by George Ezra. Or any tracks on In the Lonely Hour by Sam Smith. So three massive albums there. Any tracks on the original releases of Caustic Love, Wanted on Voyage, or In the Lonely Hour. Very best of luck. There we go. Now, as always, you've got up to one minute to come up with three answers, and all you need to win that jackpot is for just one of your answers to be pointless. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's put 60 seconds up on the clock. There they are. Your time starts now. I think uh, George Ezra did... Casio. I'll do it like that. We'll have Let's that. go with that. <laughs> it's an answer. It's something. Some of this must have sunk in. No, nope, none. <laughs> yeah. I mean, do we talk for the whole 60? Is that how popular, <laughs> popular titles always include the word love. Love? Yeah. Yeah, love. Something with love in. Mm, mm. Ring any bells? I'm probably going to lose my job after this. <laughs> and you'd be right. <laughs> I'm very witty in between the songs. Very witty. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got... I'm, I, I what don't was the George Edward one? Casio, I think. Casio? Yeah. Sam Smith? Oh, yeah, he's on there. <laughs> <laughs> These are the wrong three artists for me. You yeah. My mother bought me Palmolatini's album. Sorry, Mum, haven't listened to it yet. Ten seconds left. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to go with Casio, I think. Uh, yeah, and any more? No. We need two more? We need two more? <laughs> oh. Oh, there's your time up. Good. Well, that's uh, in the nick of time there. Um, what answers would you like to give me, three of them? Well, I think we have one that might actually be a song, and that is Casio, Casio. by George Ezra. OK, Casio. And playing on the theme that, you know, love is a popular title, I'm, gonna think, I'm sure Paolo Latini must have sung a song called A Thing Called Love. A Thing Called Love. And also... He, he that very popular cover he did of Love is in the Air. Love is in the Air, yeah. Also by Paolo Nettier. Yeah, OK, yeah. of those three, which is your best shot at a pointless answer? Probably, probably, probably the right one. Probably Cassio. Cassio, OK. Cassio, <laughs> <laughs> Hang my hat on. OK, what would you want to put first? I don't likely. remember the other two. Uh, <laughs> a thing called a Love, thing maybe we should go yeah, for that. I'm, okay. I, I'm not failing that one. OK, well, let's pop those answers up on the board in that order then. And here they are. Look at these. A thing called Love, Love is in the Air, and Casio. There we are. Well, very, very best of luck. Three wonderful answers there on the board. If one of these happened to be pointless, I have to ask you, what would you do with the money, Hal? I would pay you off so you never aired this uh, episode. <laughs> There, there speaks a man who does not know your price. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, 
Oh, I would definitely indulge in all Paolo Nettini's recent works, I think. <laughs> and maybe a bit of George Ezra. From okay, Edinburgh. well, let's go through this. Your first answer was a thing called Love by uh, Paolo Nettini. We were looking for any tracks on the album, Caustic Love. Only one of these has to be pointless for you to win that jackpot. <laughs> let's see how many people went for a thing called Love. If it's, if it's pointless, it'll be worth £2,000 to you. No, I'm afraid not there. I'm afraid not there. Uh, your next answer was the cover of Love is in the Air, also on Caustic Love uh, by Paolo Nettini. Obviously, it has, to be, well, it has to be there. Then it has to be pointless for you to win that jackpot of £2,000. Let's see how many people said Love is in the Air. Is it right? <laughs> <laughs> I fear not. Okay, now, now, come on, here we are on terra firma here. We're back in the world of, of actual things. Um, your third answer, your third and final answer is Casio. And in this case, we were looking for George Ezra tracks on Wanted on Voyage, Casio. It has to be pointless for you to win that jackpot of 2,000 pounds, but let's see how many of our 100 people said Casio. Is it pointless? It's right. There we go. Now, a thing called love, I'm afraid, was incorrect. Love is in the air. Likewise, incorrect. Cassio, though, down it goes through the teens and into single figures. Still going down. Oh, six. <laughs> Listen, there we are. You, there was a valiant attempt when presented with things you didn't know. Unfortunately, you didn't manage to find that all-important pointless answer, so I'm afraid you don't win today's jackpot of £2,000. That will roll over onto the next show, but it has been fabulous having you both on the programme twice um, and through to the final this last time. Enormous fun. Thank you so much for coming and playing so well and being such good sports. And you get to take home a pointless trophy each, so there you are. It hasn't all been in vain. How and how I think that's what we call a valiant effort, gents. Very well played, but you have been great fun. Let's take a look at the, uh, the pointless answers for Paolo Nettini first. Uh, you could have had Cherry Blossom looking for something. One day, someone like you could have made up those. One day, someone like you also could have had Bus Talk. That would have been harder to make up, probably. Uh, Diana Fashion and Superfly. Let's take a look at George Ezra. This is a, another lovely album. Uh, Barcelona is a pointless answer. Breakaway drawing board and leaving it up to you. Also, spectacular arrival and stand by your gun. Those are pointless answers for George Ezra. And only three pointless answers on the Sam Smith album. Life support, make it to me, and not in that way. Gents, you've been very, very entertaining. Hal, I'm so sorry you've lost your job. And uh, <laughs> the worst thing about that, of course, British uh, forces broadcasting, they don't fire you, they court-martial you. <laughs> it's much worse. No, but you may not know about music, but you know what, you've been so genuinely entertaining, you both have. I can see why they employ you, and I'm sure they will do so for many, many years to come. Thank you so much, gents. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to you, Hal and Adam, but it's been fab having you on the show. Thank you both so much for playing. Hal and Adam, wonderful, wonderful. Well, sadly, Hal and Adam didn't win our jackpot today, which means it rolls over onto the next show when we'll be playing for £3,000. There it is. <laughs> Join us next time, see if someone can win it. Meanwhile, it's goodbye from Richard. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Goodbye.